Okay, in this video, um, we're going to uh, use the engine mount to mount it on the firewall and then mark the engine for where to drill holes because we've got to drill holes in these. And um, uh, the engine I'm using in is the OS uh, uh, AX, OS 46 AX, and the engine does not come with screws. The airplane does not come with screws, but I've got lots of screws, and I'm going to use the number 632, size 1 inch long. So it's a 632, size 1 inch uh, long screw that I'm going to use. Fits, fits in there nicely, and that's going to require a 532nd hole. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is mount these. Um, um, and when we're doing our test, we know they have to be mounted as far inboard as possible. Now, when you're doing, um, when you're screwing these in, we're not using Loctite right now because we're going to have to take them off. One is you don't want to get them threaded. Okay. Um, let me try another one in that one. Um. The other thing you might find is, yeah, that one fits better, okay. The other thing you might find is, is that the, um, um, the distance between the top and the bottom um, blind nut may not be exactly 100% where it should be. And in this case, it's close and close enough means that you may have to start both and then slowly put it in uh, because the engine mount does not have any leeway up and down only has leeway side to side so now that that's in i'm going to push it all the way toward the center because that's what we found when we were testing the in testing the front end Now you don't have to rinse these down yet because they're not the final thing. Um, and then uh, um, the other thing you have to watch for is inside the blind nut I found paint in one, one out of four. Uh, so they spray paint the firewall to fireproof it. And there was a bit of black paint in there. Fortunately it was right on the outside edge. So I was able to get to it with a um, X-Acto knife and uh, was able to um, scrape most of it out and then um, actually feeding a, uh, a screw through from the opposite side is the best way to uh, clear that out if it's on the outside. This one is going to be a little stubborn, obviously. So let me get this last one going here. All right. It's this bottom one that I'm working with here that had the problem with the uh, paint. So I'm going to start it first. Get it going well. Okay, that's going better. And then we'll start the top one and see how we do. So now that's working. Okay. Now I gotta make sure they're all the way uh, inboard. using a three millimeter hex driver because that's the size of the screw that came with the airplane for these uh, uh, engine mounts. So it's a three millimeter Dubro hex driver and my spot of T.
or an iced tea. English practice this morning. Um, okay, so those look in good shape. Um, we'll take uh, take a minute to put the engine on. This time I'm going to mark it and drill it. So I want this mount. Now I had a previous mark. It was slightly off. I wanted exactly four and a quarter inches. And so to the front of the thrust washer. The thrust washer can slide forward. So I'm going to undo this screw a little bit, pull this washer out, and then make sure that thrust washer is all the way back. And oh, that's too far forward. Let's try it right about there. I'm using a wooden ruler because it's fl flush on the end. I've checked it against other rulers. It's it's good to go. Um, no, I want it back a little further. Just about an extra sixteenth off here. I'm going to re remake sure that these are good and are tight enough that they're not wobbling around. And. Now we're going to measure and make sure we are at four and a quarter. Whew. Man, it's just a hair more toward the back. Okay, okay that's got it. All right. So now, uh, take a Sharpie marker and mark that position front and back. Okay. Then while that's on there, I'm going to make sure it's down good and tight. I'm going to use a, a device called a center uh, drill. Okay. You buy it, uh, from Tower Hobbies. I think Dubro makes it, but it's basically a long drill with a center point on it. So you got this long drill there. Um, and you got a center point here and you push that through and you can do one of two things. Uh, first off you can, um, just start drilling And leave an impression that's a point okay and that's what I'm planning to do and you have to be very careful not to move the engine okay. nice thing about this it's nice and skinny you can hold it straight without hitting the other part of the engine up here Twisting it about six or seven times. And all you're doing is leaving a mark. You're not trying to draw all the way through it. You're just trying to leave a mark. And I think that looks good. I'm going to take the engine off. Make sure I got four good marks I can see. Okay, I can see four good marks. So um, that's it. It's marked. That's the purpose of this video. Uh, next, I'm going to take, in the next video, I'll take this off and uh, show you how I drill the, the, the hole. Uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.